Hi, my name is Michelle Lighty Jones, and I am the manager of the Perkins Wildlife Center here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. And today I'm going to be introducing you to our gray foxes. Our gray fox kits were born in April of 2016, and they came to live at the museum permanently in July of 2016. In the wild, gray foxes are monogamous animals, and we're really happy about the strong bond that these two are forming. They really like playing together and interacting with each other in a, in a really positive manner. They're not quite full grown yet. The male weighs about six pounds right now, and the female is just about five and a half pounds. When they reach their full grown adult size, they will weigh anywhere from about eight to 15 pounds. Gray foxes are members of the canine family, just like wolves, coyotes, your domestic dog, and so they have a really great sense of smell. Gray foxes are primarily nocturnal, so they're active at night, which can make them a little difficult to see. They eat a little bit of everything. They'll generally eat small mammals like rabbits and various rodents. They'll also catch birds and insects. And they also really like fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, eggs, berries, and vegetation. So they have a pretty well-rounded diet. Here at the museum, we've been giving them a lot of enrichment items to encourage them to sniff and also to dig and pounce and climb. Gray foxes are special in that they're one of the only members of the canine family that is able to climb trees. They have some strong hooked claws that allows them to do this. In honor of the foxes being tree climbing canines, we actually ended up naming them after trees in Ohio. The male's name is Buckeye and the female's name is Ash. Everything we train our animals to do here at the museum helps us to take care of them. We don't really train our animals to do tricks. I, I wouldn't train the fox to shake my hand or roll over, but we try to train them to do things that makes taking care of them easier and as stress-free as possible, both for them and for our staff. We also do training that might encourage a natural behavior. We train them on and encourage them to climb trees and climb other structures. Animals in captivity can live quite a bit longer than they would live in the wild. And that's due to having a healthy diet, getting excellent care, a lack of predators, um, having healthy food, and um, going to the vet, getting vaccinations, and so on. So you can double or sometimes even triple the lifespan of an animal and having it live in captivity. The gray foxes will probably live similar to what a, you know, a domestic dog might live, 10 to 15 years or so. I hope you enjoyed this creature feature with our new gray foxes. Come visit them and see them in action at the new Perkins Wildlife Center presented by KeyBank.